this is my HR1 tram car, London tram car, double decker, and uh, they were around in the 1930s, 40s in London, and uh, HR, because that stands for hilly routes, each truck, they call them trucks, the bogeys on a tram is called a truck, and each truck has got, in the original, two motors, um, whereas most trams had maximum traction bogies, trucks with a single motor in each in each truck. But for the Meccano model I've actually only got a single motor in each in each bogey. So the tram, the model itself has got two motors. I did try it with four motors, but it kept on tripping out the transformer. And two motors runs quite well so on, on a level surface. Um, so there we are. The trucks themselves actually started building back in nineteen ninety four. We're now 2009, and I've only really just finished, but it, it's been substantially finished for several years. Uh, the last thing I did was put some lighting in, which a little LEDs at the top deck, which are barely visible to be honest. I should have gone for a brighter light, but there they are, running off the battery. Um, so the tram's got two motors, they're both power drive motors, they just about fit in between the bogey frames. So the first thing I did was build the bogies, and then I worked my way up, building the deck. Most of the tram, there are no real mechanics in the tram. The motor just runs straight, just through a single spur uh, um, gears, straight onto the axle. Um, there's a little bit of suspension, so the tram will rock very slightly, there's a little bit of movement there. Um, and most of also the tram is just sort of the uh, coach work and weights and so on. Uh, the seats, all the seats, as in a real tram of that age, flip, so the seat pack will flip from one side to the other. They generally leave in one position, but they will all tip in the direction of travel. Um, the step for the passengers um, can retract when the motor is driving to this end. The step will be flipped up, and the, that will reveal the lifeguards, and the lifeguards around the whole front end underneath the platform to stop stray dogs, children or people who don't accidentally like fall in front of the tram uh, that will keep them out. And in the real thing I think the this lower section of uh, lifeguard could actually be dropped down onto the road. There's a lever by the motorman's um, position and he could pull a lever and that would drop this thing down and that would actually pick someone up rather than go underneath the wheels. Um, the current collection on this tram is by the uh, conduit system uh, which in the real thing was a slot in the middle of the road and the plough which is really the uh, current collector on the tram would run in that slot. For the model it is just a surface contact um, thing with um, two pulleys on a little sort of a T-shaped arm, an upside down T running on the top of this, and then it's picked up by down here two um, channel segments, that, sections that run across, and the the top of the plow sits in that. The current is picked up through the conductor rail, up through the plow, and a wiper arm on the back of each, on the inside of each of the trucks that bears on the on these two channels and that completes the circuit and the power is returned through the main running rails. So this this third rail in the middle is supported on insulated fish plates and um, strips and so on.